Hi. Hi, Rabia. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I want to thank you for doing this. Well, I think it's wonderful that you are making such a huge effort, along with uh, all the authorities, to get in this huge ivory ban. And I thought that, um, in line with what the common sentiment now is, is that we, as a family, return to you what is not really, never should have been ours. These are heirlooms that have been in the family for quite a number of years, and now we'd like to hand them over so okay. that they could be destroyed. So, who did these belong to? Um, they were initially, we believe, purchased by um, my mother-in-law, who has passed away, and they were purchased several years ago, uh, probably more than 50, 60, 70 years ago, and now they just all need to um, and where were they purchased from? Were they from Kenya? Yes, they were purchased more than likely from, I'm not sure, but more than likely from a curio shop at the time. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, as you know, there yeah. was no stigma attached to owning or having ivory. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the whole situation has changed mm -hmm. and uh, we just find it morally reprehensible to have anything of this nature in our family. Yeah. Thank you so much. I know it's really difficult to let go of like a family heirloom. Uh, it is worth it as far as we're concerned in the long run. Yeah, well at least now you can see all the elephant families that are here and yes. you're reuniting whoever these were with their families. It's a really big thing. Very sad but we hope we've done the right thing. Thank you Rabia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Put it somewhere, it cannot be replaced this way. Hopefully they will not be retrieved there. I hope you have put where somebody can not take them out. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, thank you very much for that. Hopefully they have gone in the right Yes, yes, yes. Thank you.